Hello and welcome back to Photoshop Skills. My name is Gerald and in this video I will show you how to change colors of anything to any other color of your choice using the gradient map adjustment layer. And for this example we shall be changing the color of this lady's dress. So without wasting any time, let's begin. The first step, which also happens to be the most important step, is to make a selection of the dress. And I recommend you use the pen tool which is the most precise though time consuming and for this video I'll be using the quick selection tool to make a rough selection of the dress then later I'll show you how to fine tune that selection after applying our effect so let's go ahead and pick the quick selection tool and we shall just make a rough selection of the dress To subtract from the selection, just hold the ALT key. Now if you are done making your selection, we shall go ahead and apply the gradient map adjustment layer. But before doing that, make sure your foreground color is black and the background color is white. If it's not, just press D on the keyboard and it will be reset to default. Then click on the adjustment layers icon and click on gradient map. Now go ahead and click here on this bar and the gradient editor will pop. Now to add the color, you can just click on a point in the middle and then click on color and pick any color of your choice. So you can just play around with this to get the color that you want. So if you get the color that you're looking for, then you can go ahead and click OK. Now if you want the color of the dress to be brighter, then just adjust this slider to the left and it will become brighter. If you want it to become darker, you can just adjust the slider to the right and it will become dark. Now there is also this other tiny slider in the middle. If you adjust this to the right, it makes the dress more matte. And if you adjust it to the left, the dress will become more shiny. Then there is also this other one on the left. If you adjust this one to the left, the shadows become brighter. And if you adjust it to the right, the shadows become darker. So you just have to mess around with these sliders until you get what you are looking for. So if you are done applying the color of your choice, then you can go ahead and click OK. So maybe if your client is not happy with the color, you can always just come back to the gradient editor double click on this point and the color picker will pop up then you can just choose a color that you want or a color that your client wants so let's take red for example you can mess with these sliders just to get what you or your client wants then click ok Now at this point that we have the color that we need, we can go ahead and start fine tuning the selection. Remember we use the quick selection tool, which is not so precise. So we have to fine tune the selection and make it look perfect. So remember that we are using a gradient map adjustment layer and it has a layer mask. So if you start zooming this area, you can see we selected some parts of the skin. So to correct that, just click on the layer mask and make sure you pick the brush tool. So on a layer mask, if you paint with white, it reveals and when you paint with black, it hides. So for this case, we want to hide the effects on this area of the thigh. So we shall have to paint with black. So you can just press X to change the foreground color to black. And you can use the square brackets to reduce the size of the brush. And you just go ahead and brush these areas 
to remove the effect from it. Then there are some areas which were not perfectly selected, like around here. So if you brush this area with white, it will reveal that effect. So let's press X on the keyboard to change the foreground color to white. And you just brush here. And the effect will be revealed there. Then also around here. But here the effect is not revealing because it's overexposed. So you can take your time and you just fine tune this. And take note that this same technique can be used to color the lips. It can be used to color anything that you want. And in our previous video, I hope you watched it. If you didn't watch it, you can check the link in the description where we use the same technique to add lipstick, to apply realistic lipstick. So that will be all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Till next time. Thank you.